I've got you all excited about kinetic energy, and now you're thinking, how do I get it? So let's see how to get kinetic energy. So let's think, well, how did Hal get it? Right, so several times we increased Hal's kinetic energy, and we pushed by hand over some interval. That's pretty much all we did. So we think about it, we had a track. Here's Hal on a track, starting at some position. And we apply our finger and apply F push like that. And push, 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 push until it gets to another position where we stop. Pull the hand back, right? So we are applying it over some interval D. We're pushing it for an interval D. That's how you give it kinetic energy. And we can do that here. So here I have how we'll consider this where we start and we'll stop say about here. And I can just attempt to hold a constant uh, force on how a constant force push like this. And you can see sure enough, picks up kinetic energy, just like in all the previous demos. Um, so now let's identify this though. When you push something, To give it kinetic energy K, we say that you do work on it. Okay? And the amount of work you do that we call big W is simply the force that you pushed. In our case, well, I'm going to leave off the push because it's true for any kind of a force you might apply. Work is force times D that distance that you push, that displacement that you push, that interval that you pushed. Let's not worry about all those uh, differences right now. So work equals FD. Uh, it's in the units of, well, newtons times meters is one way to write it, a newton meter. Yeah, you could say a newton's a kilogram meter per second, so you could call it a kilogram meter squared per second squared if you want, or this has a special name because it's the unit of energy and it's called joule, so 1J. Those are all the same thing, newton meter, uh, kilogram meter squared per second squared, or joule. So this is the concept of work, and this is the easy way, or the, the first way you want to think about it, is the work you do on a mass equals the kinetic energy it gains. And we will be talking a lot about work as we keep talking about energy.